Hi everyone, Bill and Stacy here with Bonsai Keto. Our friends over at Lakanto sent us some keto cookies. Yeah, they're keto crunchy cookies. They are sugar free. They are sweetened with monk fruit. Now, they say they have one net carb. They're keto friendly. They're gluten free and they're vegan. The most important part of all this, what's inside it and what does it taste like? So let's find out. Yeah. All right. Very excited cool. to see these come in the mail. And you get all these little packs. How many do we get? One, two, three, four. Cookie Monster would be very happy right now. <laughs> Five and six. So you're going to get six in this box. And let's see. In the box, we are looking at ingredients of almond flour, monk fruit sweetener, coconut oil, chocolate chips, says chocolate liqueur, erythritol, tapioca fiber, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, salt, natural flavors, uh, psyllium husk, sea salt, and it says natural flavors again, and it, at the bottom it says sugar cane fiber. Not really sure on that one. We'll have to look that up. Maybe I'll do a little glucose test of before and after with these one morning, just a cup of water and a couple of these and yeah. see if it spikes my sugar or not. Uh, it says it does contain tree nuts, which is almonds, probably from the almond flour. Mm -hmm. uh, it says the net carbs subtract the fiber and sugar alcohols from the total carbohydrates. This product is not a low calorie food. Most keto foods, as we know, are not a calorie based thing. They're right. more carb and sugar based things. Uh, so, see nutritional facts for calories and saturated fat content. Store in a dry, cool place. Now, the nice part about these coming in the little containers like this are that you really can portion control a little better. Yes. You're not gonna you're not gonna go crazy and just eat the whole box. Well, I guess you could open them all and eat the whole box. Yeah, we're but not we're, gonna do that. We're not gonna do that today. No, no, no. <laughs> not we're gonna, ever. We're gonna be careful. <laughs> It's shown that there's about uh, two servings per container and about eight pieces per serving size. So, so approximately 15, 16 in there, split them, and uh, that's how that's going to work. Easy to open. Easy to open. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, are they little? <laughs> they're little. Oh, they're very little. They're like bite size even. Yeah. Little. Okay. Did you count it? Are they even? I didn't count. Oh, no, no, you're, you're, you're taking it. It fell off on my side. You're taking it. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we got a little more than 16. Yeah. Because I have uh, nine. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10, actually, but one's a run. This one, <laughs> this one doesn't count. Now, we haven't tried these yet. So this is going to be. I have 12 on my phone. Oh, you have 12. Listen, I only have. Nine and a run. So <laughs> let's make sufficient. it even. Let's make it even now. <laughs> let's make it even. I'll pick. <laughs> you can have that one. Okay, fair enough. Because there's no chocolate chips in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna give these little things a try, and we're gonna let you know honestly what we think of them. I think they'll be okay. I mean, erythritol and uh, the monk yeah. fruit and everything. It should should have some sweetness to it. And it's and, a, a, a crispy cookie, which I yeah, love. Yeah, it's it's. Definitely going to have a crunch. Um, and the other thing about this is if you're really just craving like a Chips Ahoy or something, yes. maybe this will get you through without blowing it. Yes. And that's kind of where you're at because you like this. Stacy was was an Oreo and milk girl <sighs> or Chips Ahoy and milk girl. Chips Ahoy chocolate chunk and milk. <laughs> yeah. So. But, I'm super excited for these and he's delaying me eating this. Well, let's go for it. Okay. Bon appétit. That's pretty good. I wouldn't know it was a keto cookie. Yeah, it's got that sweetness right off the bat. Mm -hmm. baby. See, now, I'm not a sweets person, but That's these are me. good. Yeah. These are pretty good. Um, yeah, when you just need a little, a little, I mean, this isn't a food food. This is a... A treat. Yeah. That's pretty good though. Yeah. I could see that whole plate, you know, being Disappear. more than, no, no, <laughs> being more than what I would need, you know. I probably could eat half that, three or four. Yeah. It would be enough for me. 
just uh, not that not I just not a big snacky person. I can't sit down with a, a row of Oreos and eat them. Two I or three. <laughs> That's all you know that I would want. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking the and it's got nice the crunch. crunch. Yeah, they're a little smaller than them. But, than what I was looking at the box in the picture, I was thinking they were going to be a little larger. But here's cookie. the thing: you feel like but you got you've ten, got, you know, yeah. or or what? I had nine or ten, and you had twelve. You had ten, and I have eleven. Remember, you took one of mine. Second cookie, just as good. Yeah, definitely yeah. got a sweetness to it without an aftertaste. And a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of things have like a weird aftertaste to me. Right. Very You're very used good. to using monk fruit. You use the monk fruit drops, don't you? Yeah, I use monk fruit drops in my coffee. So, and you know, I'm not a huge fan of almond flour, but obviously I don't taste a bunch of almond flour or anything. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Again, they're the Keto Crunchy Cookies. Sweetened with monk fruit. Definitely recommend. For me, the Sweet Squirrel, I approve. <laughs> Definitely something to look into. Uh, I'll be posting the picture of the full nutritional and uh, ingredients label for you to our reference. And uh, definitely check them out. We will put a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there are going to be any other flavors. I think this is brand new for them. So you might even see something different in the future, maybe a little baby sugar cookie or something oh, different. I would like the sugar cookie too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You never know. Maybe an oatmeal cookie or something. Nah, not so much for oatmeal for me. That would be Bill. Yeah, I used to like oatmeal cookies because they weren't as sweet. Yeah. Yeah, just, just I don't know. I'm not a big sweet, sweet, sweet guy. But these are good. I'm going to try the runt. It's very little, but it's probably crispy. It's got a lot of chips in that little runt. That cookie. little runt has more than the one <laughs> Stacey gave me because the one Stacey gave me have one chip in it, in the bottom. No, you ate the one I gave you. It had no, no chips in it. No, this is the one that you oh, gave Oh, it is? Me. I cut it. Yeah, this is the one she gave me, which is like plain and nothing in it. It has one in the bottom. But you have another cookie, so be happy. Right? Those are good. Yeah. I like them. I'm trying not to eat my whole plate at the moment. Go ahead and eat. That's what we're here for. I to show know. the video and show the cookies. Is it a thumbs up for you? Now, could you could you suffice with like a little thing of see for me a little coffee with this would be good, but I know you don't drink coffee. No. What would you drink with it? I guess you could do like an almond milk or something. I don't know. It's, see, I don't get into milk. Yeah, better. see, and I don't love the almond milks, so for me, I'll just drink water. Water. Yeah. That'll work. Well, guys, check these out if you're if you're in the mood for just a little treat. And you want to have something up in the cupboard so you don't blow it on one of those bingey kind of days where you just feel like you're at the checkout counter and you're going to buy those Oreos or those Chips Ahoy's. Yeah. Buy these instead. Have them in your cupboard when you need it. Pull it out. And if you're on the single track, just use a Ziploc bag. Take half half of this is one serving. It says approximately eight. Yeah. And uh, just, uh, and who knows, as we this open up. This does other, have a zip. Oh, okay. So you could take half out and then zip, zip yep. it. Zip it. So it's, <laughs> it's got a nice, uh, nice seal to it. So cool. you'll be fine. I'll have to uh, get a different Ziploc baggie. Um, yeah. It's got a nice zipper here and it works. That's important. Sometimes you get those zipper pouches and the Can't zipper doesn't ever close it again. zip. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They lie. <laughs> they lie. They lie. You know what I have trouble with is the frozen food stuff. Like yeah. Frozen chicken wings or something. I open it and I finally get it open and I get the chicken wings out and then I can never get it closed. So I gotta get the big Ziploc and dump it in. <laughs> but anyway, hey, check these cookies out. Like I said, we'll have them linked in the description below so you can check them out. They taste really good. It's a nice filler for a treat if mm -hmm. that's what you need. Sometimes if that's all you need to stay on your keto, then so be it. Yeah. Enjoy your eight little cookies. And stay on course and stay on track. Don't blow it and go buy the can of Pringles or the thing of Chips Ahoy. Yeah. Because we, we used to do that years ago. And uh, something like this can carry you. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Well, I'll have three bags and Stacey will have two bags in what we opened. And then uh, we'll be even. Uh, no. Yeah. 
That's not the way that works. Sure it is. You have one bag, we shared a bag, and then I'll have the other four. They're all just going to disappear anyway. She's going to take them all. I'm going to hide them. She does. She hides things all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she hides something behind something else. Well, we well, have to do that for our kids too, though. <laughs> I was going to say, part of that is because they're mine. Yeah, they're And yours. I have to be very territorial because otherwise I'll come home and I'll be, I'll save it and I'll save it and I'll save it. And then I'll be like, oh, oh, I'm going to have a treat tonight. <clears throat> and then they're all gone. <clears throat> oh, like the meatballs that you eat all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. And like I said, Lakanto uh, Crunch Cookies, they're keto friendly and... We'll get you all the information on them and you can check them out for yourself. Thanks again, Lakanto. We appreciate it.